Hello everyone, welcome back to Tiffany's Spooky Halloween Spectacular. No, not really. Anyway, <laughs> uh, welcome back to Simply Blessed Crafts and I hope you enjoy these DIYs. Um, I am coming out with a little bit early because I'm actually going to be in Perm, Minnesota for Pioneer Days. It's a get together, it's kind of like a August thing they usually do it every every August and um, you do a lot of pioneer stuff like lumberjack cutting wood and um, throwing axes and stuff like that it is kind of cool to go see if you guys have never been and your locals should check it out there's gonna be a few vendors this this year and I'm gonna be one of them along with my husband and my mom so if you're up to it you should stop by I'm gonna try my darndest to do a little live it probably won't be very long so I probably won't be able to chat with you guys because I will be trying to sell some stuff and all that but anyway I'll kind of give you a tour of our area and um, our crafts and stuff and all that and but yeah, so I hope to see you guys there. That'd be great. And let's get into those DIYs. If you haven't guessed it already, this is going to be a Halloween theme. DIY number one. So this one actually is going to be a very long DIY. I tried to kind of separate these out a little bit, but I kind of was being obsessed with making these bottles. So... Um, these I actually picked up at Target Dollar Spot last year. And this one says uh, toxic brain juice. So I'm actually going to try to make some toxic brain juice. Um, this pink color that I'm using here is like a really light pink. I think that's what it's actually called is light pink. And I just squirt a little bit in the bottle. And then I grab a paintbrush and use it to kind of just swirl it around. And then I add a little bit more water to it. Then I went in with some Canny Apple Red to kind of give it a little bit more of a, I don't know, different color. It kind of gives it a little bloody effect, I guess. But um, then I decided I was going to wrap the top around with some jute twine. So I just glue it a little bit at the very beginning and then just wrap and then I'll glue the end off and then cut it and then I decided I was gonna do some little bit of a hot glue on the bottle to kind of make it look like the person that was using it was being messy and was getting it all over so So then once it's dry, I go in with a little bit of that light pink and the candy apple red and I just kind of mix it up to get it the color that I want. And then I just color paint the, um, the glue that I put on there earlier. Just kind of make it look like the contents is dripping down the bottle. And then I go in with this one. This one is also from Target. They're only a buck last year. Um, I'm not sure if they're gonna have them this year. Uh, I just thought they were really cool looking. I'm not a big fan of this orange bottle though, but this one is actually supposed to be zombie brew. So I'm 
putting some water in it. And then I grab um, Holly Branch by Apple Barrel. And I just squirt a bunch of that in there. And then I do the same thing and just swirl it around trying to get that paint to break up into the water. And then I wrap this one with twine as well. Sorry it's out of frame guys. I kind of scooted the camera in so you could see what I was doing and I should have scooted it back but it's kind of the same concept as the last one. There's a few of these that are going to be a little bit different but some of these might be a little Some of these might be very similar, so. But I basically just do the same thing. I drip the little glue, and then once it's dry, I go in with some green paint. So DIY number two is gonna be kind of the same concept, but so this one I actually got the idea off of Pinterest. I've had this bottle in my staff since I started crafting. I just really liked the bottle the way they looked, but I didn't ever know what to do with it. So when I saw their version on Pinterest, I was so excited. I'm gonna finally get this bottle out of my out of my system. But unfortunately, I'm not oh, and then we took a little break because Sylvie Cat wanted to come check out what I was doing, so here she's just sniffing. Figured you guys would enjoy seeing her. So anyway, I don't necessarily have all the supplies to make what they had at Target or at the Target. Oh my gosh, at uh, on Pinterest, the one that they had on Pinterest. So I just kind of played with it the best I could. So I'm just going over it with like silver, silver, um, metallic silver or something like that. Just to kind of give it a little more depth and to kind of bring out the details. Um, I even went shopping, you guys, to see if I can find some more Halloween decorations. Because I honestly don't have a whole lot and I didn't realize how low I was on Halloween decorations until I started doing a Halloween thing for you guys, but it makes sense. I'm not real big into decorating for Halloween. Um, I'm starting to now because my husband is really big into this really the gory and spooky. I'm trying not to do so much of that on here, but um, yeah, so I... I I'm gonna have to start trying to decorate for Halloween, but usually I'm more of a just a fall person. But anyway, um, so I got these little cutouts. I, I I got a bunch of them from Hobby Lobby, I believe. Maybe no, maybe it was Joann's. I don't remember, but they came in a little plastic thing, and I wanted to kind of make this as a poison thing, so I. I glued that on and then I decided I was gonna go make it darker and then this one here is just an empty bottle that I got uh, it was filled with like beads and stuff but I put the beads in something else and I decided to use the bottle so in that bag of punch outs that I got that I used for the other project there was one that had a prescription it looked like a prescription that was written and everything I thought it was so cool and I looked like this might have been a it could have looked like a description or subscription bottle so I decided I was going to make it into one that's been sitting on the shelf for years and it's very old looking so it's kind of what this one is gonna turn out to be um so I dirty up the 
bottle by using black uh, Waverly paint and ink. Um, I'm just kind of making it look old and dingy. Um, I do uh, dip my paintbrush in a little bit of that paint or uh, the water or whatever that I was using and then I just pat it just kind of makes the bottle look aged <clears throat> and then there's the there's the uh, bag of of uh, things that I that I received um, and then I show you the little punch out that I'm gonna use I really like that one I I don't know why I like about it but it just it looks very authentic it has like the old writing and everything on it, it just looked really cool so that's what that looks like and then I decided I wanted to put something in there that might resemble medication. So I had some of these little red beads and I just put like a little tiny bit in there like it was getting towards the end of the bottle. And then I decided I was going to make one more of these bottles that I got from Target. But anyway, guys, I, oh yeah, I, and I really liked how the dirtiness looked on the other, the description bottle, so I decided I was going to go over all of them and dirty them up. So that's basically just what I'm doing. I just wanted to make it look like they've all been sitting on the shelf for years. But anyway, I actually had to go shopping again over at Dollar Tree. And I didn't get everything that I need because they don't got all their Halloween stuff out yet. But I didn't realize how short I was on Halloween stuff. So I tried to do the best I could with what I had. Um, and, and they turned out cute. I, I like them. Um, but I'm going to have to go pick up a few more things. I did go and get some more um, stuff and I went to the one over in Wadena which was a Dollar Tree Plus and I got some things that were a little bit more expensive than the Dollar Twenty Five that were really cool that I am excited to change up and do some stuff for you. Um, let me know how many videos you guys want of the Halloween theme. I mean I want to make sure that everybody gets their fill if they like the Halloween theme then great if not then let me know so I know how many videos to put out I mean I could probably do two more for you if that's what you want um, so yeah just keep me updated guys I want to know what you want um, so anyway this one is night night owl elixir so I had some of that like I don't know it's like sparkle paint or whatever gold sparkle paint it didn't really give me the effect I wanted so I put in some yellow paint and kind of made it sparkly to where it looked like it was glistening and then I do the same thing just wrap it around some of these, like I said, are going to be kind of repetitive. Um, this is the last one that, I, that I'm doing with bottles, though, so. And then I do do the glue again. I really liked that look. And then I grab the yellow paint and just paint the glue once it dries. And then I do go over top of that paint with the sparkle paint as well. I do grab, grab out my glue gun and kind of dry it quickly. Don't hold it on there too long if you're going to do this because it will melt, make the glue hot again and 
it'll run a little bit. So I didn't do very much just to get it to dry a little bit and then I just go over it a little bit with the, that sparkle again. And then that's it for that one. DIY number three. This one I absolutely love how this one turned out, guys. So I do have had these skulls in my stash. Um, but I don't like how they look. They're very plastic looking. So I decided I was going to go over all of them with my ivory chalk paint. I do not show you all of that, I promise. But I do paint them all two coats in the white. And then once I got them all painted, I kind of dry them just slightly. Some of them were already dry from sitting there, but um, then I decided to go in with some antique wax. And I paint everything. I did start out with a baby wipe, but that didn't work because I wanted to get in all those nooks and crannies and the baby wipe just wasn't doing it. So. I go in with a paint paintbrush and just get in all every every little nook and cranny I can get into. And then I wipe it off with the baby wipe and oh my goodness you guys, those look so I mean I hate to say it but they look so real. I really really like the detail that it brings out and yeah. So, I really like this technique. I'm sure you will see more of this technique in further projects because it I absolutely love how it turned out. But I just do that to all of them. So this little candlestick holder that I got, I honestly do not remember where I got this from. I don't know if I got it from a thrift store or a garage sale, but I know it wasn't very much and it was very cheap. And I've had it in my stash forever and I finally decided I was going to use it today. And I'm just kind of playing around with it, see where I want to put the skulls and everything. But I just kind of keep stacking them up until I get the effect and use them all. And I really, really like this one. DIY number four. So you guys have all seen people do this as a DIY. This is my first time ever attempting something like this, so bear with me. Um... Most of the people that I have seen do it, though, usually just paint it all black. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to be a little bit different. Not, like, extremely out of the box, but um, instead of painting the house black, I went in with actually an elephant gray, so it kind of makes it look like it's going that direction. But I forgot to put record too. But anyway, it's not that big of a deal. You just saw me not paint the house or miss painting the house. So, um, 
but I liked how it kind of looked like it was heading towards the really dark black look. I did paint the roof black as you can see. And I did do two coats on this. And um, I don't actually show doing it, but make sure that you paint inside of the house too, guys. Because um, you will see it through like the windows and stuff slightly. You don't want that bright pink showing or nothing like that, so. Then I grabbed my paintbrush that I was using for the roof and I just am just lightly light brush going over this house to bring out some of the details. They have like really pretty uh, bricks and like details and stuff down on the bottom and junk so I, I wanted to bring out those details in it. I'm kind of just holding it up together, see how it looks. And then I decided instead of putting the windows back in, I was going to make it look like a boarded up look to it. So I got some popsicle sticks and I'm just kind of playing around with what I wanted to do here. So I didn't want them to all look the same, I know that, so I did one with a cross and then two across the other window, like a sideways. Once I got them all cut, I go in with some more Waverly antique wax. And I paint all of it. I paint the sides, all the sides and the front, all of it. I'm not really worried about the back, but... And once they're all painted, I'm kind of letting them dry a little bit. And I decided I was going to paint my door red. This is a candy apple red. It kind of brings out a little bit more of the spooky factor with the black. Um, granted, I put a little way too much paint on there. But I also like that you can see the black through the door, or through the red too. So it kind of makes it look like it's aged. So I really liked the look of that. And I just give it a cute, quit, uh, quick dry. Good grief if I could talk. Oh, excuse me. I kind of go in with a little bit of antique wax too around some of the door frame edges and stuff like that. Kind of make it look like it's dirty. It's getting tested through the age of time. So then here I just start to assemble my windows. Just a little hot glue. Make sure you put a good amount of glue on there because with the paint and everything and it being plastic, it doesn't stick the best.
I did forget to do one for the side windows. The one, the one window I left blank, but this one, I cut another piece and cut, it's kind of out of frame, but you know, the gist of it. I just put one over across to that one. And then I decided I was going to add one more. And I cut this part out, but I decided I was going to add one more over the door. And I wanted it to say beware. These Posca paint pens too, you guys, they're amazing. I got them from Mark Michaels. So now I decided I was going to glue the house down to a little plaque. I got that from Michael's from for a dollar. It's one of those little little um like little uh sign plaques or whatever. It had the string and everything. I took all that stuff off. And then I got some moss and started gluing the moss down. Um I then decided I was going to add a uh, a little walkway from the door, so I cut some more popsicle sticks, and I kind of just took the easy way out. I just grabbed a couple of them and cut them in strips. And then I used the parts to the other one, and I was fine with it having that little space in between. Just makes it look a little more old, like it broke through the age of time. And I do paint these in the antique wax as well. I believe I cut that out, but... So then I decided I was going to go back in and start with my moss again. I want to get this all covered up really nicely. Now, I, before I started doing the other side, I was actually trying to find some brown um, pipe cleaners. I wanted to try to make a spooky tree, but I guess I was out of my brown pipe cleaners. I thought I had some left, but I was out, so I didn't know what else to use, so I kind of moved on. So. But I end up putting a spooky tree in there in a little while. Probably could have cut out more of this moss scene. I mean, you kind of get the gist of it, but... So this spot here actually had a little bit of like uh, pine needles or whatever. So I did kind of use that as a little bit of a branchy tree, but um, I was trying to find some kind of little small thing for pumpkins and I come across these. Got these last year in the fall section. They're just those little berries, but I figured for this small little 
a small little house they actually look like pumpkins so i was tickled to death to find these these were super cute so i just cut them down and just glued them all on there um i was kind of going through debating on how many i was going to put on there but i ended up using that whole branch And then I had the branch from those berries. I thought, what the heck? It's like a little tree. So I um, kind of tucked the bottom underneath there and kind of glued it down. So now I have my own little spooky tree. I thought it was pretty cool. Pretty cool. And I just kind of finished the pumpkins and there you go, guys. That's that's the final reveal here. And doesn't that just turn out super cute? Oh, I absolutely love how this turned out. Let me know down below, guys, which one was your favorite. And please like and subscribe and let me know how many videos you guys want me to put out for Halloween. I'd greatly appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up down there and subscribe if you haven't already. I'd greatly appreciate it. Share with your friends and family. Every little bit helps, guys, and I appreciate all of you. Thank you so much for everything, all your nice, wonderful comments, and I couldn't, I, I wouldn't be here without you guys, so hope you guys all have a great day, and God bless. Bye.